rock bottom stories. I mean, it, uh, there's there's a lot of low lows when uh, when there's some high highs. And uh, we're driving across the country from the Jersey Formula E event to the West Coast for the last leg. About three quarters of the way through the trip, I blow the transmission of my truck for the second time that year. Out of money, have nothing left. Two days before we have to leave. I get the trailer, I get the truck back, drive to Southern California. We're heading up to Camp Snakebite where we were living at the time. Come off the highway, my truck's in flames, the engine harness is on fire, the turbo is killed. So <laughs> we get out of the truck with the trailer halfway parked in the road, take our shirts off and just try to start taking, putting a fire out. And then it starts raining on us. <laughs> truck's stuck in, a, stuck in the middle of the road, we end up getting into a parking lot. Call up a turbo place, they have a direct bolt on replacement, get our homie Dave Shoemaker to fix the engine harness, get the turbo on there, end up leaving, driving up through the night, get to Seattle at like 2 a.m., practice the next day, I blow the motor in my car. <laughs> My lowest of the low is definitely Long Beach this year. We, we built an awesome car, twice as good as it's supposed to be last year. Bought all the right parts, spent money on the good parts, talked to the right people, and just ended up not making it. We had a, a problem internally in the motor, and obviously Long Beach is all, always the struggle to make it there regardless, especially with a small team like us. And then to be able to not run and stay up for five days with no sleep and just get totally screwed and not even be able to do one pass out there, definitely like, rock bottom for me. It was hard to come back from that this year. Last year, this round at Jersey, I had a tough time. Uh, I hit the wall in qualifying uh, pretty hard. They had a different judging format for qualifying with a knockout. And my first run was really good, but I think since they were doing that knockout format, they were judging that first run very critically. I didn't make it because I, I felt, you know, something with that knockout format and uh, crashing on my second run, it put me out of the competition, which, you know, that's a, that's a hard blow for any driver that's, you know, competitive to not make the show at all. So that was definitely one of the worst moments of my drifting career. We were actually here at this exact venue, Wall Speedway, New Jersey. And at the time, I was driving for a different manufacturer. And uh, going into our third year with that manufacturer, I actually put the car into the wall on our first qualifying run. It was a brand new car, uh, probably its second event, and I uh, ended up splitting the frame, frame rails in half. And so that was kind of a turning point for my career with that manufacturer. Um, ended up not working with them again. But um, that kind of kept me down for a while until I joined uh, hands with Front Sign Racing, and uh, here we are now. So in drifting, you put everything on the line. You uh, risk everything, you pour everything that you own and then some into it. And I think my biggest bummer was when I crashed backwards in the wall in Las Vegas back in 2010. My fuel tank caught fire. We had to pull my Supra straight with the truck. It was an absolute disaster. And uh, next day I just crashed into the first guy I saw and, and that was that.